update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, what is right now not a rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we still have that, uh, well, a mixed bag. Very slight mixed bag. You've got the NASDAQ composite that's up 19 points. The other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. You've got the Dow off 20 points. The S&P's down 7. NASDAQ 117. Russell's off 16. The semis are off 1 and a quarter percent. That's a 69 point move. 7 tenths for the trannies. They're down 107. Gold's off 5 bucks. Silver's up a penny. Light recruit up 80 cents. Natural gas off 9 pennies. The 30 treasury down 2 points. Down at uh, 116.04. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. The ES Mini is testing profile support. It's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. It's got a TD nine count top. It's got all kinds of tops out there, but it's also got support. There's really two levels of support. The first one is where it's trading right now, 55.12. The second and more important one is at 54.93. We close below 54.93. The ES Mini is headed lower. If we take a look at the uh, spot volatilics, it is attempting to rally, well, it has rallied towards its 50-day exponential moving average. That's all it's done. But if the day were to close above 1320, that's the 50-day exponential moving average, that would go ahead and provide sellers with an edge out there. If we take a look at the NQ, it shows on this chart here that it's trading below profile. That's a true statement. However, the real key level out there is going to be 19802. It would be two consecutive close below 19802 that would take us down to its breakout level, and that's at 18941. It's not shown on this chart here, but that's the number. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, the interesting thing here is that the U.S. dollar index is attempting to form a new weekly profile. That's the green, little small little green dash that you see on my screen. See how that profile is contained within the prior profile? You know what that tells us? That tells us to prepare for a consolidation, a sideways move. Is that consolidation going to be between those profile levels? It very well may be. Those profile levels are 104.78, and that's at support, and 105.80 as resistance. So prepare for really a consolidation move inside of the currency market. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold would trade in a sideways consolidation, taking us back to the beginning of April. Right now, it's just simply trading with inside its profile, support at 23.20, resistance at 23.59. Silver is trading above profile resistance, and that's at the 2930, uh, 29.39 level. As long as price remains above that, it's likely to rally further. And light speed crude looks like it's going to negate a TD9 count top today. You know what that says? The crude oil continues to head higher. A natural gas, we'll take a look at it on my charts. I believe it's testing maybe below its TD9 count breakout level of support. Right now, the 30-year Treasury, it needs to hold this level at 116.02. If it doesn't, we're heading to 114.30. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. Have a terrific day.